once again say that no longer should the people of Iran be subject to a tyrannical dictatorship and theocracy that jeopardizes the lives of their very people, whether in Iran or in the world. And today we set forth that idea as our modus operandi. So we are mindful that these latest martyrs were given a promise by the United States government, were protected under the Fourth Geneva Convention, were given an assurance by the United States of America that they would be protected, and that was a promise that we made in writing. And whether this group, all of us, here in Washington, D.C., in our nation's capital, can stand by with the word of this country being violated, the commitment that the United States made to protect the people of Camp Liberty and while we see them come under assault. My friends, liberty is a hoax. We need an action plan today. We need the United States to come out today and say they are for protecting as they promised the people of Camp Liberty and that we're not going to let them have any more people die at the hands of the Iranian secret police and their collaborators in the Iraqi government. The United States has a responsibility to those six people who were killed. We have our word that we're going to protect them. And here we have two documents. We know about these documents, all of us now. Now that Mr. Bomedra left the United Nations and exposed exposed the fact that in the draft survey of whether liberty was suitable for humanitarian purposes, this draft said categorically that Camp Liberty was not suitable, was not safe, and in this document, signed on by people like Martin Kobler, the UN representative in charge of the protection of Camp Liberty, he verifies, the UN verifies that liberty is safe. We know now that the blood of those innocent martyrs that were killed last night are on Martin Kubler's hands today. Today, Martin Kubler ought to resign his position at the United Nations in disgrace. And the United States ought to take every step necessary today to ensure the protection of the people they promise to protect, whether that means returning them to a safer location in Camp Ashraf, which has an 80-mile protective barrier, because no longer can it be said that liberty is safe after what happened last night.